Zero and lift off. We have spacecraft separation. And confirmation from our video system. Approximately 50 minutes after launch, the spacecraft separates from the upper stage of the launch vehicle. Um, six minutes after that, uh, the spacecraft transmitter sends a signal back to Earth, which is received by the tracking stations. Once uh, we receive that signal, we're ready to send our first command up to the spacecraft, and that actually marks the beginning of the cruise phase. There are some incredible challenges on the way to Mars. Uh, one of the things is there are always anomalies. There are always things that are going to go wrong that you never expected. You have a, a baby spacecraft that is now on its way to Mars, and it's seeing the space environment for the first time. So it's going to see temperature ranges from minus 250 degrees Fahrenheit to plus 250 degrees Fahrenheit. And you've got instruments all over the spacecraft. You've got propellant lines that you can't let freeze. And so there's always this challenge of keeping the entire spacecraft tuned thermally. Some of the things that we're going to be doing during the cruise phase are some trajectory correction maneuvers, which are basically pushing us along the path of where we want to end up when we arrive at Mars. The launch vehicle puts us at a specific path on a trajectory, and along the way from here to Mars over the nine months that we're going to be flying there, we need to make small corrections to that. If you were trying to shoot a bow and arrow at a, at a bullseye, at a target, um, and you had taken, you had drawn back the bow and you had shot off the arrow, and you realized all of a sudden that it wasn't actually going to hit the target, how great would it be if you could pause in the middle, make a slight adjustment to the arrow, and watch it hit the target? We have given ourselves six opportunities to make a trajectory correction maneuver. And each of those correction maneuvers is uses the thrusters on the spacecraft to give a little push to the spacecraft to correct its trajectory. One of the things that makes landing on another planet so difficult is that we're essentially trying to hit a moving target. The spacecraft left a planet that was spinning around the sun at its own speed, and we're now aiming for another planet. And we can't just aim for where the planet is at the time that we launch, but we have to aim for where we think the planet's going to be by the time that we get there. All of those motions, the navigation team has to carefully track and predict where things are going to be in the solar system in order for us to successfully navigate to Mars. The trip from here to Mars to, is over eight and a half months and we need to make sure that we monitor all the sensitive instruments, science and engineering, to make sure that over the eight and a half month journey, everything is working properly. The better we do our jobs during the cruise phase of the mission, the, the better the entry, descent and landing phase of the mission will go as well as the surface phase. 